Hello friends, welcome to lecture number 11 of complex analysis for BSc mathematical physics. Today our topic of discussion is singular point and order of pole. So before we start please subscribe the channel, hit the bell icon, also share with your friends and uh, please make sure that you hit the bell icon so that you get notified when new video will be uploaded okay and uh, when new video will be uploaded when the next part will be uploaded that gonna appear at the end of this video okay so first let us discuss about singular point what do you mean by singular point so now you see so now you see so a singular point uh, a point uh, here you see z is equal to a is said to be a singular point of a function f of z z is a complex number here we are talking about complex uh, functions okay if this function f of z is not uh, analytic at this point z is equal to a then this point z is equal to a is said to be a singular point of this function f of z right let me give you an example for example suppose f of z is equal to suppose 1 by z plus 1 right so here you see this function to be analytic that uh, the denominator should not be equal to 0 that z plus 1 should not be equal to 0 so if it is equal to 0 that's uh, that's going to be not defined and uh, when it will be 0 when z is equal to minus 1 for z is equal to minus 1 that denominator going to be 0 in that case that going to be infinite this function is going to be not defined so so at this point the function fz is not analytic so therefore this uh, z is equal to minus 1 is the singular point for this given function right this is the singular point of this function f of z in this case in this example right so i hope that you know what is analytic function we have already discussed okay and i have given the links in the previous uh, you know in the description box uh, links of the previous lectures in the description box so you may go through okay for better understanding so we're going to talk about two types of uh, singular points one is isolated and one is uh, which is not isolated okay so the two types of uh, you know singular points we're going to discuss here right one is isolated singular point another is not isolated right so first let us discuss about the first one isolated singular point so here you see isolated singular point so as the word suggests isolated so we can say that uh, here you see uh, if z is equal to a is a singular point is a singularity of a function f of z and if the other if there is no other singular point there is no other singular point within a circle within a small circle very small circle surrounding this uh, point uh, z is equal to a then z is said to be an isolated singular point or isolated singularity okay of the function f of z of f of z okay isolated singularity just do it now let me explain with an example okay so here let me one more thing if it is not isolated otherwise it is called non isolated okay that means if a point z is equal to a is not isolated then it is called non isolated singular point right so let me explain for example suppose we have a function of z which is given by z minus 2 into z minus 4 here you see isolated here in this case isolated singularities are z uh, uh, here 2 and 4 because you, you know for z uh, is equal to 2 it gonna be 0 right so in that case it gonna be not defined so if you take any neighboring point of 2 okay 
any neighboring point of 2 so at this points which is not equal to 2 but close to 2 but not equal to 2 so those points within a very small circle surrounding 2 that may be 2.1 2.3 2.4 something like that at those points this is uh, here you see at those points uh, neighboring to, uh, 2 which are close to 2 suppose 2.1 2.3 2.9 okay within this circle at those points this function is you know this function f of z gonna be analytic at those points other than at 2 right so that's why this point 2 z is equal to 2 is said to be isolated similarly at z is equal to 4 this function is also uh, you know not analytic so z uh, is equal to 4 is also a singularity and this is also a, an uh, isolated singularity because those points neighboring 4 surrounding 4 that means uh, those points within the very small circle surrounding 4 those points 4.1 3.9 right those are neighboring point of 4 at those points this function is you know mm, function is going to be analytic at those points only at 4 it is not analytic so that's why 4 is also an isolated singularity here so hope you have understood the concept uh, of the isolated singularity right so now uh, here you see let us discuss about non uh, you know non isolated singularity let me go to the next slide so non isolated singularity right suppose we have a function f of z which is equal to 1 by sin pi by z right so is not analytic at sin pi is equal to 0 right this function gonna be not analytic when sin pi by z is equal to 0 because when sin pi by will be 0 this function gonna be not defined right so this is not analytic when sin pi by z is equal to 0 and what is the general solution for 0 uh, we know general solution of sin theta is equal to 0 is n pi right so n sin n pi is equal to 0 so for n is equal to 0 1 2 3 and so on right so here you see here you can see if sin n pi is equal to 0 then we can write here you see uh, from this equation if you compare these two then you can say that uh, pi by z is equal to n pi right where uh, here i'm gonna write n is equal to one two three four dot 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 so on but uh, n can be zero as well but why i am not writing zero i'm gonna explain later okay i'm gonna explain it later don't worry about that here pi pi cancel so one by z is equal to n right one by z is equal to n so now you see here the z gonna be equal to 1 by n so 1 by n and also if you need any other uh, courses like uh, laplace transformation and uh, differential equations for your series then those courses are also available in this uh, you know uh, channel so i will provide the link of La uh, laplace transformation playlist uh, in the description box as well and also that gonna appear at the end of this screen uh, end of this uh, video as well okay towards the end of this video you can see the uh, playlist of the laplace transformation as well and uh, i'm gonna provide the links of the previous lectures of uh, this course complex analysis in the description box uh. okay now let's start you see if you put these values of n here uh, here you can see that uh, z is equal to we have got 1 by n right so that's why we have not taken n is equal to 0 here but uh, in this case you see in the in the solution of sine uh, theta is equal to 0 sorry uh, just uh, okay just wait uh, okay sine theta is equal to 0 then theta is equal to n by in this case n is equal to 0 1 2 3 dot 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 so on 
but I have not taken zero here because if you take zero here, that's uh, z gonna be not defined. So that's why we have started from one here. So uh, in this case, uh, z is equal to one by n. Then one. If you put n is equal to one, then you will get the value of z that is equal to one. And if you put uh, two, then it will be one by two. If you put n is equal to uh, three, if you put n is equal to three, then it's gonna be one by three, right? And so on, right? And at the end, you're gonna get uh, zero because we can put the value of n up to infinity. If you put uh, infinity, that's gonna be zero. So now you can see here, these points are, these points are, uh, you know, points of singularity, right? Because you can see this function given function f of z is not analytic when sine uh, you know sine z by uh, sorry pi by z is equal to zero and sine pi by z is equal to zero at all these points right so here we can say that uh, z is going to say that z is equal to zero is a non isolated singularity because its neighboring points the points uh, you know in its neighbor that means within the circle around the zero uh, are also singularity right because uh, isolated singularity means if if z is equal to suppose x1 is a point of singularity and uh, let me take the zero as well here zero so in this case you see Point 0.5 is also a point of singularity, 1 is also a singularity, uh, 1 by 3 which is approximately equal to 3, 3, 0 0.33, these are neighboring points of uh, 0 and these are also, you know, point of singularity, so that's why it is not isolated singularity, okay, if the neighboring points of 0 were not singularity, of uh, this function then we can say it was iso it is isolated uh, but here it is not isolated because all the points uh, you know points in its neighbor it, that means within the very within very small circle around the zero uh, those points are also singularity this is not alone the uh, zero is not one point alone uh, which is singularity okay so hope you have understood this so this is the singularity of non-isolated singularity of the function f of z because because uh, in the neighborhood of z is equal to zero there are infinite number of other singularity okay so hope you have understood this now let us discuss about another topic uh, that is uh, pole order so order of pole so before we discuss about order of pole so let me tell you one thing pole is nothing but uh, it is also a point of singularity so when we say order of pole now you see let me write here something so let suppose we have a function f of z okay having an isolated singularity suppose isolated singularity z is equal to a okay z is equal to a is an isolated singularity right now f of z can be expanded in a Lorentz series around uh, z is equal to a which is given by which is given by uh, f of z is equal to this so this is called Lorentz series so that's how we can uh, express
okay we can expand this function okay so so re remember this is called Lorentz series so now you see so we are going to discuss uh, about this series later uh, about Lorentz series uh, I will make a separate video on this topic Lorentz series Lorentz theorem okay so for the timing just remember this is Lorentz series okay so we can express a function of complex variable in this form now you see if after this term the remaining terms from uh, after this term you know uh, uh, the coefficients uh, b m plus 1 and next term b m plus 2 if those terms become zero okay that means the expansion ends here when you have uh, got uh, b m okay if the expansion ends here when the coefficient is b m then this pole this uh, point of singularity uh, that is equal to a is said to be a pole of order m okay let me write this one here now you see if bm is the last non-zero coefficient okay and after that the remaining terms will become suppose zero okay these coefficients become zero then that is equal to a is said to be said to be a pole of order m right okay now you see uh, if z is equal to a is a pole of order 1 then value of m gonna be equal to 1 okay the value of m gonna be equal to 1 right and in this case we used to say it is simple pole it is simple pole right so hope you have understood this so don't worry we're gonna make another a separate video on this uh, Lorentz theorem and Lorentz series okay so now you see these two topics that today we have discussed about singular point and pole order so these are important because next uh, you know we are going to discuss about uh, causes inequality causes integral formula so uh, i'm gonna make uh, a video on causes uh, integral formula in the next lecture in 12 lecture number 12 okay and uh, also we're gonna discuss about simply and multiply uh, connected uh, region and then we're gonna discuss Lorentz series and taylor's expansion in another uh, other two lectures okay so when we will discuss about residues and residue theorem then these two two topics gonna be very important so that's why we have discussed these two topics uh, today uh, in this lecture so hope you have enjoyed this and uh, hope it gonna be help you to understand to uh, you know to understand the things uh, that we're gonna discuss uh, in future in the you know upcoming lectures so see you. so see you in the next video so thank you for watching the video and share with your friends and uh, hit the thumbs up button also share uh, also you know hit the bell icon so that you get notified uh, when new video will be uploaded okay so see you in the next video thank you